last minute instructions. And this is against Shibuya. This is going to be a painful fight for me to watch. You will see later on. We're dancing around, feeling each other off. See, I, 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 I still, I still, I, I told you now 20 times, I still can't believe it that I didn't just bring my legs back and my hips down. But hey, what can we do? He's trying for a leg lock. It's not working. Now he's probably going to go for another knee bar. Let me see, see. And I know that. So I'm going to go for a knee bar, for one a knee bar of, on, on him. But he pulls it out. I'm pushing him off. This guy was Funaki's protege, uh, his training partner, uh, trained a lot with him, very strong, as you can see, he's got, uh, he's got good, uh, uh, a solid build also, so he's not just a lot of technique, he's got some uh, great strength also. going for the reverse figure four you see I clean it off I slide it off with my right knee that's by the way a very good thing to do for you fighters if it happens to you just slide it off with your knee watch this I'm probably gonna do it again put the knee in between and push it off you see it's a real good way to escape I'm going for a toe hold but he saw that I was going for it so it didn't work And again, I tried that side choke, but it's just a try, just an attempt, because it didn't go anywhere. I push him back, and now I'm going to try to climb on him if I'm if I'm smart, which thank God I am, because otherwise I would have be more aggravated behind this microphone right now. <laughs> Okay, the referee breaks, we're too close to the ropes. He says, okay, let's get back on the feet and fight. And again, a beautiful guillotine, but now my hands are not hooked anymore. He's got some problems with it, but he got out, he got out, beautiful. I mean the escape, it was a good escape. He's cross-facing me, as you can see, which is also a very good thing to do. I hope he's gonna go now for an armbar, because that will get me, get him off of me. Gonna go for a knee bar, you see. Just put the leg there, he's probably gonna make it reversed. Let me see, yep. I think so. He set he sets something up for a knee bar, it looks like. Come back. 
And now we have the five minute mark. I got him in a reverse figure four and that you can use to turn your opponent and then maybe to go for submission. Better thing is once he's turned, just to let it go. Now I'm gonna to step to the side, I'm gonna to try to break this grip. And if you go to the, when I came home after watching this, I found a way to break his grip real easy. By the boss with the big book of combat. And I would have had, would have had, had I would have saved myself a lot of energy and I would have finished them right there. This was a close call. I still go for the armbar and he's pulling it out. And now you heard me uh, already making that scream. I think it's going to happen now also with the turn. What happened was I put so much pressure on my, on my abs that my, uh, my, my own abs pushed in my, um, how you call it, uh, the inside here of the solar plexus, the bone I have underneath there, and it broke. And I started to feel that bone pushing against my lungs. My sternum. That's what they call that bone. You see, and now I'm starting to get afraid of it because I think, whoa, 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 is this thing going to puncture my lungs or not? And now he knee rides me. And I try to push it off. Here I'll probably go to the doctor, yes, that's this moment, that's where you heard it. And I asked him to check it out for me. And they said everything was okay, but when I went back to Holland, I needed surgery for it, so the next fight I couldn't fight. I had to send him the pictures from the hospital. But they, uh, and that was my sternum, it was very strange. The whole move that I did, I was holding on to the armbar so long, so tight, that it pumped up my abs for some reason. So, and then when he spun out, my own abs crushed at my um, sternum inside. So the bone went inside. So every time I breathed, when I was breathing, I felt it pushing against my lungs. I don't know, it's dangerous. That's why I'm asking, is it dangerous? Because if it's not dangerous, I will fight. When I breathe? Uh, inside, okay. oh. Okay. Uh, calm it down, calm it down. Okay. Uh, breathe, uh, breathe slowly, slowly, and, and deeply. Slowly. And maybe um, bone and lung or something. Just uh, stay bone. I don't know. He should have felt it right there because every fighter that I let it feel yeah. afterwards, they say, man, that's not good. The yeah, bone. It's gone. No, no. Okay. okay. Having a family and all, you just want to make sure that nothing's going to happen. And I wanted his word that it was not dangerous. But I can tell you one thing for sure, it was a very, very weird experience. And um, I hope it never happens again. I heard Minoru Suzuki told me the same thing. Uh, it happened to him too, but they cut it out. He told me after the fight. He cut it out so he could never break anymore. And uh, when I asked the people in Holland to do the same thing, they say, no, you can't. We cannot cut it out. We can bring it back, but not cut it out. Anyway, let's go back to the fight.
going right back to the guard. And I, now I don't want him to push on my, on my sternum anymore because on my solar plexus because it was hurting that. You saw me dropping my hips and grabbing his ankles. I should have done it. Oh no, I grabbed his ankles and then I dropped my hips. I should have done it the other way around. First drop your hips, then grab the ankles and then push him on his back. Maybe with a little luck I'm gonna do it now. No, I'm not. Now I can do it again. See? Whoop. And push him backwards. He's gonna try a toe hold on me. But you see how I defend? I just push my uh, right foot to toes to the right, and that's the escape. It's pretty easy if you know it. You see, I'm pushing his knee off now because he's knee riding me, but I don't want to have it. Yeah, it was also very uncomfortable, uncomfortable to breathe. So, um, no, this fight is not um, going into the history books. Thank God, in about two or three fights, we have the rematch. I fight him again, but then without an injury. So, uh, it's a different story. Here we go. Climb on top of it. We got 10 minutes past. I don't know how long of a fight this is going to be. I think it's a 15 minute fight. I'm going to the mount. Control. It's a dangerous thing what I did here, putting an arm around the neck, because then they can turn you. Just pushing his throat is an annoying thing to do. You cannot finish him with it, but it's a, just a very annoying thing to do. And then hopefully he's going to make a mistake, and you can do something else. This is a cool move, only it didn't work. What I'm trying to do now in this fight is just to get to, to to complete the fight and then hopefully because now I'm staying on top and with the submission attempt and everything that it's gonna be there we go again for a submission watch this whoop almost that was the second one close one You see, his knee hits my sternum and it's all the time pain. Yeah. Maybe we should have left this one out of the DVD. <laughs> but I promised everybody to show all my fights. Even the ones I lost. Because I think, you know, that's, that's how you become a fighter. You, get a, you become a better fighter by losing. Because if you're a smart fighter, you will never lose the same way again. I mean, if they armbar me, and then the next fight they armbar me again, and then again, I mean, then obviously there's no reason for me to be a fighter anymore because I don't learn from my mistakes. But if you're a smart guy, you learn from your mistakes, and then it will be all okay. Oh, no, my buddy. <laughs> I'm pushing it off. I push his knee down to my belly so he's not on the chest. Yeah. No, 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 no
Okay, we got two minutes left, so it is a 15-minute match. Thank God for that, that we don't have to look at this torture anymore for more than two minutes. I gotta do something now. And every time he puts that right knee back on my belly. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, that was a fuck right there for me. But that's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh my god, they give me a break. Finally I'm on top. And then they break. This is a very strange rule, but hey. Finally, I got something on him. The rope is in the way. Anyway, this fight ended in a draw. And in a few fights, you will see the rematch for this fight. But um, yeah, it was kind of scary. But it's uh, everything was okay. I had surgery and everything was okay again.